Hi everyone, this is Hilda Larson coming to you from beautiful, beautiful California. I've been on this amazing trip from Lima, Peru to LA, now driving up the coast, going to San Francisco, amazing seminars, meeting new people, and while driving, always stopping, always seeing nature, always grounding, always visiting places like this. Can you see the ocean? It is amazing. Just to hear the sound, if you can hear what I'm hearing, that's health. I wanted to talk to you about that because as I drive, you know, and I meet all these people, I see, of course, that health is so much more about not being in pain. Health is so much more than not being medicated or being diagnosed with anything. And to me, health is even more than you might think. Health is even more than about your physical body. Health is more than being healthy. Now that is a very different statement, I think. Health is more than about being healthy. So what is health really about then? Then why is this word turning into something else? Because I thought that healthy was not needing a doctor. Well, you see, living in this world, when we're so indoctrinated and so programmed, I should say, so used to following others, so used to looking at authority, so used to giving away our power, so used to not being authentic, we are holding down, we are compromising our own purpose and passion. And these are the big words here, purpose and passion. When those are compromised, when we're numbing ourselves in any way, when we're compromising the way that we're expressing ourselves, we're not truly living the way that we're supposed to live and that is not true health. Because health is way beyond the physical body, like I said, it's also the mental, mental body. And not only that, spiritual body, emotional body, all of our senses. So look at health this way. Let's break it down a little bit. What about your sense of smell? What about your ability to feel joy from the littler things or what we perceive as littler things? What about your ability to express yourself? What about your ability to say no or even to say yes? What about the ability to just stop everything when you feel like it and take off your shoes? What about standing your ground or being authentic all the way to the core, to the part where you decide what you are going to do with your life when you decide where you're going to go, how you're going to live. It's about our own dignity. It's about being sovereign. And I see health as a part of being sovereign. Because when we are the sovereign beings that we're meant to be and that we all are, because we are all part of God and that creation. We're all part of all that is. We're all part of this amazingness that never dies. We're part of this energy that is always creating. So we can be a part of creating in any direction that we choose. And I believe that true health is what shows itself through passion, compassion, enthusiasm and creativity. Now, that true health certainly starts for a lot of people with pure physical health, simply going from surviving to thriving. We might think that's all about the health. Changing the diet, exercising, going outside, getting the fresh air, breathing it in, taking in the sunshine, being in gratitude, forgiving. All that is part of cleansing out the physical and emotional and the spiritual body to reach that health which gives you no pain so that you can follow your dream, so that you feel that you'll be walking towards your desires. Now, when you start with that physical health, because most of us, like myself, 
health, that the physical health was stopping us. <clears throat> and certainly, when we are sick, that is a fact. And I don't care how much you sit down and tell yourself, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy, I'm healthy. When you're so sick, you can't even sit up. That is not going to heal your soul. That is not going to heal your, any of your bodies. What is going to let you walk down the process of healing is taking action towards living a cleaner, more authentic life. And that's where I started and that's what I see with my clients where we all have to start by being authentic enough, looking ourselves in the mirror and saying, hey, I need to change. I need to eat better. I need to detoxify my whole being from everything that's holding me back. I need to let my body create that health that I want. Now in that process, when your body starts transforming from being ill, being so numbed down and programmed, being so full of all of these toxins, all of this crap and shit, and the mind so filled with the bullshit. That's what I write about in my third book, No More Bullshit. When we start detoxifying that, searching for the tangible health, the health that lacks pain, the health that doesn't have any more depression or anxiety, or being angry, frustrated, immobility, despair. When we're searching for that, walking in the direction of true health, you see, you're walking towards nature, you're walking towards healing your life, you're walking towards true health. And what does that look like? It looks like something like this. It looks like you living your passion. It looks like you creating out of your conscious, most inner and outer enthusiasm. It could be that you're changing your profession, that you've always wanted to be a painter. Maybe you're so good at making movies and still thinking it's just a hobby. Maybe you love being around people and you're a nurturer. Maybe you have, um, a dream of building your own business or you have a dream of living in a small hut on Bali, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter. We're not defined and your health is not defined and your happiness is not defined on what you're doing. It is defined on what you feel about what you're doing, how you feel about what you're living, how much of your inner truth is being expressed. That is true health. Health is about waking up in the morning, being so damn happy to be here, being so fulfilled with the compassion for life itself that you're just bursting over with joy. All the little things, they just fade away. People in your life that is not supporting you, they fall away. Food that is not nurturing you, food that is not optimal for you, will not even present itself to you as food. I walked into a restaurant the other day in Los Angeles, a beautiful vegan restaurant. And even it being vegan, it did not serve organic fruit, which is my fuel. I brought my own. I, I, I met up with beautiful people to be social, not because food was something that needed to be shared for that social gathering to happen. So I brought this beautiful papaya. I had made my own orange juice and we met up and I ate my food. And, this, and, and the servers were, were, were beautifully uh, positive about serving me. They didn't mind. And I was telling someone about that because it's a big thing. We're letting something outside ourselves stand in the way of our happiness by being something that they're influencing our, in a, in our life in a way that we're letting go of our own authority or our standard rather. So because of something on the outside of me, I would not eat my diet? Of course not. Nothing can dictate my health but me. So the thing is this, 
I said to myself, and I told my secret Facebook group, which is the members group, that when you go into a restaurant like that, you bring your own food. If there's nothing on the menu that they can serve you. And you meet up with your friends. And if any of those two have a problem with that, if your friends have a problem with that, or if where you're going have a problem with that, then you need to change something. And you know what? It's not gonna be the food. So you need to change something besides the food, right? Because health is reflected through that very action, through being the one not following the norm, like I did, being authentic, like I was, still meeting up with people and having a wonderful time being social when I choose to, with whom I choose to be so with, a healthy choice. So much more about food, so much more about how I feel. Because I feel amazing and my energy is over the top. I would say mostly all of the freaking time. Now the way my health is evolving and the way that I see my client's health is evolving is way beyond that. Health is about all the steps that follows when the physical body leaves the suffering. When the physical body leaves the pain, the emotional, the mental, and the spiritual body also leaves the pain. Now, when that happens, your soul is so free to express itself that the healthy being that you are can shine through. And that is also what is going to let you never feel that label of this ease again. And it doesn't even have to be that. <clears throat> I know a lot of you are diagnosed. And I know that we have labels for everything, but I also know that there's a whole society out there. And the sunshine's coming through. This is early morning, by the way. This is 8 a.m. So what I see here is when all of this shines through, there is nothing that is going to hold us into these labels. Like I was, I just, you know, the sun came in. Even if you don't have that label, I, I look around and I see this. People come to me and say, how can I detoxify? How can I change my health? Which is the quickest way to do this? When can I get my health back? When will I have more energy? When, 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 when? When can I go from here to there? And the misconception is that there is a here and a there that is made in that sense. Okay, because there isn't. What there is, is this. Constant evolvement from being sick to feeling healthy. Er, and healthy er. I'm gonna leave the sunshine in because it's getting so dark. So when you're walking that path towards your true health, there's never a defined line. And I know that you just wanna feel better. I know that you just wanna feel healthier. I just know, I know you just want the energy. And the thing is this, as you walk, you will subtly, slowly, steadily feel better. But it's never a destination. It will never end for you. There will never be a final day where you will say, oh, I'm healthy now. I can stop this. I feel so much better. I made it. There's no, no, there's, there's no finish line, you see. There's not a finish line. There's only a continuous path through amazing health. And this is the path that I'm still walking. And this is the path that every human being is still walking. Through the change of just being human. And it's not about detoxing anymore. It's not about getting rid of any diseases. It's about continuously changing and evolving like nature. And you see a tree, you see a plant. It's not that it's just going through the notions of the season. It's not that it's you know, if you have a tree, it's gonna lose its leaves in the fall, it's gonna come new in the spring, all of this. That's a part of it, but look at it another way. It's still growing. It is still continuously growing. Like we are, evolving, always stretching towards the light, always trying to make better, to plant the seeds, to spread the love. So when true health starts shining through, 
this is how you'll notice that it's going to happen. You'll feel more gratitude in your day. You will feel less critical towards others. You will feel happy and content about having the ability to choose your food and you will choose what's best for you. You will also choose to be around people that nurture and support you. You will also choose to be a giver, to be a server, not a pleaser. So many of these things that I write about in my articles will come forth as a part of you being healthy. Those are healthy signs. Now there are other healthy signs in the beginning of a detoxification process. What this means is that as you start to let those things that doesn't serve you fall away, you'll feel the sorrow and the pain from just having to leave that behind and it hurts. You know, even things that really, really hurt us are hard to let go of. So in the beginning, it could feel like you're even walking the wrong way. It could feel like you're not even confident anymore or trusting in the path or in nature just because it doesn't feel good. And we're always kind of judging by the feeling, you know, if it feels good or not. And I'm standing here talking about that. So kind of, you know, it's a tricky thing because yes, I do, I, I do talk about feeling good because ultimately that's all that we want. But in the process of letting go of all the shit and the crap that we've been holding on to and everything that we've been told and all the people that have been telling us all this nonsense about life, about food even, about protein, about who to believe and, 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 and to always look outside ourselves and not to listen within and connect directly. Letting all that go hurts. So I, I want you to know this, see, because I have so many people come and I see that they follow a regime because they want to feel better. And then after a while they quit because they didn't get there, they didn't think. And, there, and there's nowhere to get. There's, there's nowhere to get to. There's only health, which is a part of your life. There's only the amazing health that's going to never stop evolving, never stop changing. And I believe as long as we have a physical body, there's nothing that is going to be stagnant. We're just going to keep on evolving and evolving and evolving and evolving. So my dear friend, what can you do to start today? Not only to feel amazing, but to do something that you know is going to change your health in that radical way. What can you do today? Change your diet. I knew you knew. Change your diet. Start by eating raw, amazing, fresh fruits and vegetables. That's the simple way. Why? Because it will start the process of health on every level. For me, it was the longest road. It was the longest road. It took years and years because I had no idea that this is what I needed to do. So I was following my intuition, going here and there, failing a little bit, tweaking everything. But now I know. Now I see with my clients that the road, it isn't, it isn't that long. And the other thing, it's simple. It's always about simplicity. And health will show itself to you through so much more than your physical, emotional, and mental body. Look around in your life and see how things around you are growing and evolving. I see success wherever I go. I meet people that are on my frequency. I have opportunities show up for me every single day. I am traveling the world. I am literally living my dream from living 
in a house on the second floor laying in bed for years and I couldn't even open my jar and I could not go to the bathroom. I was in so much pain. I was in so much agony. I didn't even want to live. This is not my dream. I am not living my dream unless this, this is way beyond my dream. I had no idea this was even possible. I had no idea that health would involve all of this amazingness that we're all here a part of. And yes, I really do believe that heaven is right here on earth. If we let it, if we allow it, if we step up, if we take responsibility, if we show up in the mirror and say, yes, hey, I'm ready. So I challenge you, my friends, just take the first step and know that health is so way beyond physical lack of discomfort. I honor you and I love you and I thank you for watching my YouTube channel and I wish you would subscribe, share this video, hook up with me on Facebook, like my Facebook page, go to my website inspiredbyhilda with an e.com. Let me hear from you. Bye for now.